I'm Caroline Modaresi Tirani. You're watching HuffPost Live. Endless self help guides promise to make you look your best, feel your greatest, and ultimately live your life to the fullest. But comedians Tim and Eric have taken that genre and flipped it on its head in their new book, Tim and Eric's Zone Theory. Instead of deep breaths and regular exercise, they recommend that you ditch your family, get rich as quickly as possible, and learn your cumulative penis IQ number. Take a listen. I think about the guy watching this video right now. His name is Brian. He's suffering from addiction to marijuana. He eats uh, from 7-Eleven. And now he can access Tim and Eric's zone theory and he can change his whole life. He can become somebody that he always dreamed he could be, a perfect man. My name is Tim Nagrume Heidecker and I'm a zone plane A. And uh, with Eric Wareheim, we wrote Tim and Eric's zone theory, seven steps to achieve a perfect life. We're thrilled to say that joining me now to discuss are the comedians themselves, Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareham. So Tim and Eric, Baha. thank you very much Baha. for being with us. Baha. Baha to you. Baha to you both <laughs> as well. I have to say, first of all, fabulous outfits. Well, thank you very much. It's the summertime. We're happy to be in white, and that kicks the heat off a little bit. It does kick the heat off as well. Does it in any way contribute to uh, zone theory living? Well, uh, one of the zones is health, and obviously, uh, if you're part of the zone three, eat only white foods. So it helps with the stainage. If you're eating Alfredo sauce and you make a mess, no problem. There's no stain. It's a good point. It's a very good point. Uh, well, I guess, I mean, you know, what was your inspiration for uh, zone theory? Big time, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's an honor to be able to provide this service to our audience and to people that don't even know who we are. We say, why don't we access the information we have, which is successful zone theory lifestyle, which makes you capable of, through seven easy, I mean, how hard is it? Seven easy steps, and you've achieved a perfect life, and we can make a ton of cash in the process. Well, I mean, that's a really good point as well. I mean, how much cash is, is the right amount of cash for you both? Well, we want to help all the scum, all the trash people on this planet, mm -hmm. but at the same time? It doesn't hurt to make a couple of bucks off uh, the fans. Um, and. Also, people that might accidentally buy the book or order the wrong thing on Amazon, we're very much encouraging that to happen so as well. So were you guys really invested in, uh, you know, reading up about other self-help books or, or was this sort of a genre you tapped in, you put the blinders on and said, we, we've got the material, we're going to create ourselves? Ten years ago, I turned to Eric. I said, stop reading. Stop reading newspapers, uh, books, magazines. I want you focused, I want your brain open so that we can start writing our own book and we're not gonna be influenced by the latest Stephen King pile of trash. The biggest help we got is from our turkey in the Lord named Baha Pristimi. Mm. And he gave us the code, he gave us the seven steps and we translated that into our hymnal. I, th I think we have, uh, the, well we've got the foreword to your book where mm. you give it a little bit of a, a snippet into, uh, into the zone theory. You say, my name is Dr. Jason Britt. Mm -hmm. I'm a zone counselor and zone leader of my zone community mm -hmm. in Charles River, Colorado. I'm also a licensed medical practitioner of Holy, Hoi Medicine, which uses oats to diagnose and treat a variety of diseases. I've been roundly discredited by the established medical community, but who cares? I am the best. Uh, you know, is this a, a gentle dig, a gentle nudge? maybe at some of the other self-help books and self-professed self-help gurus that are out there? Uh, it's a condemnation of uh, not only every self-help book ever written, um, every religion that man's known, um, because you can get rid of all that trash, you can get rid of that uh, waste of time and focus simply on the seven steps. Now, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why everybody's so upset about it. Um, when you just get the book and then we stop with all the questions. You don't have to ask any more questions. You just do the, st do the steps. So, I mean, Eric, is the idea that people will take the book and then can get rid of, you know, whatever faith that they may think that they belong to right now. So Judaism out the window, Islam, forget about it. You just need this book? There's only one true path, and that's Baha, and that's through buying zone theory. We're asking families to buy 20, mm -hmm. 30 books, and then reselling them to their cousins, their aunts and uncles, and just spreading the word, evangelizing, mm -hmm. and just really living the holy Baha. It's a, it's, a, it's a pyramid scheme that works, is what I told my uncle this morning on the phone when he asked, why am I buying 10 copies of your book? I said, buy 10 uh, at the reduced price, and then you can upsell to all your friends and family. You can mark up 50%, 100%. And again, we're back to the... The, the essence mm -hmm. of, of, the, yeah. of zone theory. I mean, I wish I, I wish I'd kind of read farther into it, but I, I got to this point. Stop. Stop. Yeah. 
And um, basically, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, but mm -hmm. if, if you're a female, you, right. you are, are not supposed to read this. Actually, if you answered no to being male, you've got to destroy this book immediately and do not attempt to return it. Um, so, you know, well, you, is it just for just for men? Well, only this current, the first edition is just for men, but um, I'm assuming you like exclusives here on the Like a bit of an exclusive, yeah, I don't we know do. if we should even say this. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. Give it to I can't us. believe we're going to do this. Should we not? I'm going to talk to the publisher. Should we not do this? I'm going to do it. Nagurume, uh, give it to him. <laughs> okay. We are hard at work on zone theory for women, which will be coming we out said at it. some point. Wow. So this is, congratulations wow. to you, uh, Homiani and uh, Trombone. We have a terrific opportunity now for women of all kinds to become part of the zone trajectory. That's well, I mean, I feel, I feel absolutely great. I was speaking on behalf of all women, as I uh, obviously am allowed to do. Mm -hmm. um, just thank you, I guess. Thank you very but much. But I want a, a message to women such as yourself and the women here in the room out there watching us. Buy the book. Buy this copy of the book. Ho hang on to it mm. or give it to a male friend or a colleague. Uh, buy 10 copies. We're suggesting women do that. And then you'll have access to buying zone theory for women whenever that comes out. So, you know, I mean, there a lot of zone theory f for men. Mm -hmm. um, Concerns the penis. Now, obviously, you know, women we don't have we don't have penises. So, I mean, what would zone theory for women encompass? Well, we change the penis section to s details about the vaginas. Mm -hmm. The vaginas. Yeah, and in the male version, it's number one thing is identify your penis type, and that can r really make you a whole person. And in the female edition, we'll just ch change out the vaginas. Oh, and well, yeah. I, it's, it's, I'll tell you what. It's been so we started working on the the zone theory for women. And it's, it's actually pretty easy because of the old find and replace function uh, of the uh, Microsoft Word, where you just find he and you replace it with she. You just do a quick select all. All those he's light up. Mm -hmm. You do have to go in manually to Photoshop to get the penises out of there. But yeah, well, I was going to say, because I mean, there are a lot of penises in, in the book. I don't know if I can show them. I don't know if I can show them all. I mean, there are lots of illustrations it's and, and the like. I mean, it's all it's it's all very natural. But there are there are a lot of penises. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, these are obviously sketches, but there are some photographs. Are they of your own phalluses, or are they, is it the other people's? Where are, are we? Uh, do you want to cut to commercial now? We, we're actually online. There we're, are no commercials. Okay, we'll talk about this during commercial. Our, our PR people said that we wouldn't talk, talk about that. Is there a guy? So. Oh, is there a? We, it's just professional. It's to, I didn't get that in memo. The pre-interview, if you say we're not going to talk about it's something, just, we're not going to talk yeah, we're about We're not going to go into whose dick it was. I mean, you know, it's just not something we're going to talk about. What kind of freaking shop is this? Well, I mean, you know, this is, it's Half Post Live, and uh, we, you feel free, though, if you want to unburden yourself. You know, I just, I don't, like the, I don't like the tone. There's, I don't a like the there's a level of courtesy of professionalism when we come in and we do this mumbo jumbo horse shit book selling stuff. Mm -hmm. And we just expect everyone in the community to live up to that. Yeah. Or we'll walk. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, okay. I, 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 well, I, 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 I should what. say, no, I'll say, I'll say, uh, we'll, we'll apologize. We'll yeah. apologize right now. We'll actually, I don't know if we have, let's do this. We'll do a reading instead. I think that, Tim, actually, you described your own penis. So how about we do a description as opposed to a visual instead? Uh, you wrote this, quote, I have a penis that is several yards long. It's a blessing and a curse. Oftentimes, I lose feeling in the tip because it takes so long for the blood to reach the end. When it is fully erect, I can direct it towards the floor, lean on it, and rise up like a pole vaulter. I mean, that sounds like qu it's quite it's quite something to be able to do that. I mean, I don't know if you're able to do a demonstration here. We do have the floor, or is that something that you you don't do until we're a zone eight kind of point? Um, there are several sections of the book that we have we're not able to access before publishing, in terms of reading them. So. There has been a typist involved with this book that we're not pleased that we're not on, on good terms with anymore. Mm. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of this stuff coming out now that I didn't know about. Wow. And I'm kind of bummed about it too. There's things you learn. This, this is our first book. You know. And I think it's a mean joke. It's a mean prank. Who did this? This typist. I'm not going to say his name. Mm. This typist that typed this book. He said, well, you should have looked at it closer. I said, well, I, I have too much going on. 
to be going through every page. No, I mean, naturally, naturally. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you do feel you need to unburden yourself, you can lie down. We have used this couch as a Freudian sort of couch. No, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I just don't, I, I guess my one regret is not reading the book for as thoroughly as I should have. So there's that going on. I mean, I, it's heavy. a thing. It's a thing. I, I, well, I mean, Eric, let's let's move off Tim's um, pole vaulting penis for a second uh, and talk about uh, talk about your own and maybe mm -hmm. talk about uh, what's it, Probo? Uh, talk to us a little bit about Probo. Yeah, the number one thing you're going to have to deal with your Probo is once you divorce your real wife, you're going to marry a zone wife, and you're going to have to bottle and store your Probo. And Probo is zone theory term for semen. Which is acceptable, I guess, because you know it's of a white consistency, and everything in zone is white. It's, it's if you read the health. You, and first of all, just let's buy the book, and all these answers are going to be solved there. Yeah, it's almost like um, you're. We're kind of giving it away a little bit here. When the book's for sale, we should mention that. But guys, who's got who has free access to internet? Everybody. I hope everyone watching, because otherwise they can't watch us. Yeah, and I wonder if we should stop talking about it. In I terms just of specifics. I'm wondering from a strategic point of view, is well, this a, is this a big mistake? I just know from it. a sales point of yeah. view. Yeah. I mean, I think that it's always good to sort of tease out a little bit of the material. I will have. say something interesting um, about the book. Somewhere in the book is a fifty dollar bill. See, I couldn't get to that point because of that stop sign. Well, we didn't give that's not for press, but if you order it online, it's a fifty dollar <laughs> okay. bill. So we didn't get it with our press copy. Makes yeah, sense, I guess. I'm pretty confident about that. I can't guarantee that, but there's a good chance. There's a good chance there's a fifty dollar bill somewhere in the book. We were told that there was cash deep in that book. Mm -hmm. So it's a great investment for you to go buy the book. It's something like fourteen dollars on Amazon today. So you know, I mean, money seems to be a very central point uh, of all of this, and, mm -hmm. and you know, there's a, there's an aspect to the book which I think we can talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing bodily. It's actually more about the essence uh, of zone theory and, and the fact that you can move away from friendship and really focus on what what matters, and, and that is money. Uh, so how do we how do we do that? I mean, you know, if you have some friends in your life, uh, is is the whole point to get rid of them? Absolutely. Cash is king mm -hmm. in modern times. Um, friendship is wonderful, you know. I've had a, a, an honor to make this guy, call this guy one of my great friends. Yeah. And yeah. we engaged the other night. We got into New York early, and we went down to one of the n nude recreation centers they have here. And we engaged in some nude masked horseplay, which is one of the greatest things you can do with a friend. Um, I recommend it to everybody, and we talk about it in the book. Do you um, have to be masked? No, that's one of the great things is you can choose if you want to be masked or unmasked. It's, it's your right doing the zone, zone theory. Eventually, we prefer you to be unmasked and just really embrace that horseplay. We had a funny story that happened yesterday because I was planning on masked horseplay, and he goes, he's going through his bag, goes, oh, I forgot my, I forgot my mask. <laughs> And so I had I go go down to the masquerade shop and get a new mask. I'll I'll chip in, and he got a really nice mask, beautiful, uh, gold, yeah. uh, golden black, with black and gold with the with the jester's with, crowns <laughs> and the bells came off like a New Orleans Mardi Gras oh, it was style. A perfect mask for the so occasion. So now a lot of people that are watching, you know, that may be may find it uncomfortable, you know, sort of like you know nude masked horseplay mm -hmm. uh, with a with a friend uh, of the same sex if some people might find that uncomfortable what would you say to those people grow up get a grip yeah become an adult become a human loser uh, well easy I was just playing playing along with it what you were I know but I hit the top of where we wanted to go with that and you went overboard you crossed the line you hurt a lot of people's feelings and we you probably ostracized a lot of people and you probably threw our book sales down the tube I just like to take this time to apologize. That's a good idea. Uh, for we my get a zo zoom in on a close up of him, and we can get a full apology and see if those book sales skyrocket. Thank Hi, you, I'm Eric Sharm Wareheim, uh, Zone Priest, Plane Eight. I just want to apologize for just taking it a little bit too far when I'm describing the kind of people that should be buying this book. And just remember, get an Amazon. It's 15 bucks. You get a 50 dollar bill right in there. Most likely. I think this is a perfect time to segue and actually bring in some uh, some fans of yours and people that I think have bought the book or are in the process of buying the book. Uh, right now we have Travis Irvine, a comedian, filmmaker, and journalist. Travis, thanks for being with us. I guess the first question should be: Have you bought the book? Are you intending to buy the book? Uh, yes, I'm definitely going to buy the book, and I wanted to know 
about your guys' friend Bob Odenkirk. He helped a lot with your uh, careers. I want to know if he helped you with the zone theory, and if so, what zone is Bob? Thank you. First of all, we have to talk about the, your wall dressing. You got to stop with that. You got to calm down about putting <laughs> so much of that fun was, comedy on your wall. It was the Fourth of July. Uh, okay, but I'm now sorry. what's the date today? Uh, it's it's the seventh. Okay, it's time to move on. Seems like okay. you need to do a, a expedited shipping of the zone theory to get into your life, uh, so to change up your patterns, your habits, your look. Yeah. Log off this web chat. Log okay. on to Amazon and get get shopping. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to do you want to answer his, Travis's question though? Uh, no, we can. We have, we have no comment on that. Okay, okay. we're going to move on. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, I, I'm going to move on to a comment here. First of all, Matt says, if you need help photoshopping out penises, I will work for free. Well, that would that would be par for the course for us. We don't uh, we don't compensate uh, folks that work for us. Yeah. If, if also if we knew that we are going on something like Maxim, you know, Maxim Live, you know, I would say no to that, you know. So this all the penis stuff is a big surprise to us, and we will be talking to the PR representatives, and just reformatting our pre-interviews because mm -hmm. this is the third time <laughs> yeah. you guys have brought this up. Yeah, it seems to be like it's a word like we're in fourth grade, and it's a word that tickles you and your audience. I think it's, I mean, it's certainly tickling, it's not tickling my penis, it's tickling the Fair audiences. Enough. Fair enough. Understood. I understand that. It's just, what do we do now, you know? We, we actually... Wanna, we want to move some, we want to move some units. Mm -hmm. I'd love to walk out of here. I actually can't find the exit door right now where I would do a cool move I actually think that we have you for at least another 10 oh. minutes, so okay. you're contractually obliged to stay. We'll be happy to do that. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to move on because joining us now, we have Sarah Ann Downey, Director of Community at Accomplice. Uh, so, Sarah, thanks for being with us. What's your question for Tim and Eric? Hi, uh, praise you, praise Turkey Man. Uh, Baha. I just to say, Baha. Uh, Baha. Baha Pristimi. I bought Turkey the book Lord. for my uh, fiance, but I have to wait for the women's edition. Um, Thank you. So, hopefully, it's coming fast. But One thing nice say, about all right, uh, Eric and Sarah, everybody take their time. She had a pause, and I was. And just I understand, in. Eric. You have the floor, Sarah. I just want to say it's really cool to buy the book, the men's book now, and you can seal it up and put it in your cupboard. And it's really cool to have a first edition to show when you have guests or family <laughs> coming over. Say, this is a beautiful Tim and Eric experience. I can't read it personally. I'm waiting for the female second edition to come out. You can, when your friends come and visit, you can whisper to them and say. I have something in my cupboard. I'll do it. I have a bookshelf right here. Perfect. Yeah, I got it ready. All right. What's your question, Sarah Downey Jr.? <laughs> so I, I feel like you guys at Absolutely Productions have dominated my sense of humor for the last, mm -hmm. you know, 10 years. And right. I, I don't think other stuff is funny as much. So I'm wondering, like, what makes you guys laugh? So more than, like, what are your comedic influences, but, like, what are your go-to current sources of comedy now? I like, uh, I know, I happen to know something that makes Eric laugh. Tickling. Here we go. <laughs> that was laughter, by the way, guys. That was laughter. And that's free, and you don't have to get a bunch of union crew guys together to, sh to, d to make that happen. <laughs> you can go out there, you don't need to get a bunch of cameras and lights and script supervisors. This guy's going, uh oh, I'm out of a job. <laughs> but, but tickling is the oldest form of entertainment there is, and I'm so happy to share it with my close friends. Do you take a tickle as well as you give a tickle? I, unfortunately, tickling doesn't work for me. I mean, Watch. I, so it's been tough. It's been tough. It's a one-sided comedic relationship oh. in terms of the laughter. So you laugh really, Eric, for the both of you? I don't know about that. I know that he gets a, good, he gets a chuckle out of it, and I kind of, kind of sit there like I'm pulling all the weight. I like it, so whatever it takes, whatever it takes for Tim to, to, to do it. Do you, guys, do you guys always get along? You spend a lot of time together. Are there things that you sort of, you find really irritating about each other? Yeah, uh, the fact that he can't get me to, he can't tickle me right. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. 
And I'm trying, I, Sarah. <laughs> I'm trying to tickle them as hard as I can. And there are places on my body that will get me to laugh should he tickle it right appropriately. I feel and like he refuses to go there. To so those you have places. communicated the places. Mm -hmm. But he's just not reciprocating. Well, he's got a line that he won't cross. There's, I have a family, mm -hmm. wife, children, and the last thing I want them to see is me tickling him in Tim's special spot, he calls it. It only takes a finger. <laughs> it so often only does. Uh, all right, we have a comment coming in from Ian Walston who says, who has your vote for the 2016 presidential election? Donald Trump. No, this one, if he doesn't, oh. if he doesn't run him. <laughs> um, but otherwise, but yes, Donald, Tr Donald, Donald Trump would Trump be the one. Okay. He's a hero of ours. He is his own priest. I shouldn't say that. He asked me not to, but he is. And that's a Huff Post exclusive right there. Wow. What plane is, is Donald Trump on? Is he? <laughs> he's eight. He, he's the top, baby. He's eight. He's unbelievable. He asked, actually came to me yesterday, last night. I was staying at his penthouse, Trump Tower. He says, it's unbelievable what you've done with this book. He says, it's changed the game. He says, when I am sworn in, I am going to use it. I'm going to put my hand on it instead of the trash Bible that they usually use. I hugged him. I kissed him. And we kissed for a while. And then we tickled each other. And he knows how to tickle me. So he knows the yeah. special spot. You bet he does. Did he also uh, outfit you guys today? Because obviously this could be. No. no? OK. No, 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 no. You can see from the cover of the book, this, these were our ceremony outfits. And we did do the book a couple years ago. Um, while we have you, we would love the opportunity for a reading. Obviously, I didn't read all the way through because I'm not allowed to. But we mm -hmm. have uh, uh, one of the seven zones is poems. Uh, we mm. want to take a, a look at one of the poems. Uh, who would like to read it? Eric, you have a beautiful singing voice. Thank you. Eric, if you just want to uh, just look into that camera and, uh, and, and have a read. Although there's nothing there in that camera. Hang on a second. Just, Let's look at just it. for the fans. Just for the um, fans. This, again, was not pre-approved with my <laughs> PR people and our book agent, so I'll do my best. I can read it along with you if you'd like. That's probably a good idea. There we, oh, there we are. Hang on, let's, let's do, do this. Let's do it together. We hard pan oh, them left and right. Okay, all right, after three. <coughs> One, two, three. Porn, porn reminds me of porn. porn. You, you can't, can't stop enjoying, enjoying it. it. It makes, makes you grow a big horn. Porn, porn reminds me of popcorn. popcorn. It, it grows, grows bigger than a goat's horn. horn. I, I get a hard on thinking of porn. porn. When, when it, it makes, makes me enjoy sex without getting, getting a torn, torn, I like having porn. porn. Having porn. Oh, we're, we're stopping. Okay. And it goes on. Mm. That's all I'll read. I'm <laughs> just, I did it out of respect for you and your craft, but. Uh, it's get, you, get to a point, you get to a point where you say it's enough. You know? It's enough. Uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. I have another comment coming in. This is from Michael W. who says, Baha priests. Uh -huh. I've been Baha. having trouble finding a good sized spaghetti pot. Where do you recommend I shop? You might need to give a little bit of background as to the spaghetti uh, pot. Yeah, well, we, in, the, in the book, we've identified the best way to capture uh, diarrhea um, is in a spaghetti pot. Um, and there are people might say, well, what's a spaghetti pot? It's where you cook spaghetti. <laughs> it's a pot in which you uh -huh. cook spaghetti. Now, some people might also call that a soup pot or a stock pot. But where we grew up, it was referred to as a spaghetti pot. And you can go down to a 99-cent store. You go down to uh, Walgreens. You go on Amazon. Any spaghetti pot will do. But if you want to save a couple bucks, there are, of course, wonderful used spaghetti pot stores all across the country. And we're having a blast going and visiting them and, sh and shaking their hands and thanking them for all the service they do to provide low-cost spaghetti pots. And if you buy Zone Theory this week, it comes with a coupon as well as a $50 bill. You get a coupon for 20% off a spaghetti pot and a diarrhea dipstick, which kind of work in tandem. When you do make the mess, you, you put the dipstick in and it will read your emotions. So you got that going for you. I guess, I, I mean, I'm, we're running out of time. Uh, uh, one of my final questions really is, obviously, this is a, a gift to, uh, to a lot of people. How do your parents feel about this? What do your parents think, your family think? Are, are they proud? Well, we've completely disassociated from our biological parents, our bios. 
So uh, I have no concept of how they feel about it. It would be impossible for me to know. Yeah, that's uh, like asking, like, once you, once you get rid of your parents, they're called discards. Mm -hmm. That's like talking to like a mime. I was like talking to a piece clown. of trash. Mm -hmm. Like if we go out on the street and find some old Snickers wrapper, or a see some dirty rat, you'd be like, excuse me, <laughs> can I have your opinion on this? That's be a waste. our biological parents. Yeah, be a waste of time. Discards. But our zone parents. High marks, four stars. We My respect that. zone father said it was one of the greatest books he's ever read. That's very And sweet. now we have that to. But that isn't Donald Trump, right? Zone father no. isn't. Okay. No, just no, want no, to no. clarify. DT is just a close friend and supporter of the whole system. Delightful. Uh, I, Tim Merrick, what a pleasure. Uh, absolutely. Thank you very much for coming in and, and, and sharing with us uh, a little bit more about zone theory. It was, a, it was a rocky road, but we got there somehow. We did. Yes, we did. Baha. We steered the ship. Thank you for bearing with us. And guys, thank you for watching. For more information on Tim and Eric's zone theory, check out the links in our resource well below. And stick around. Mark Lamont Hill is up next.